guys thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this is going to be a favorites beauty and lifestyle video so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so i've got a hodgepodge of things and you know that's just how i do if you're familiar with any of my older videos like that so i got a little bit of skincare makeup and some lifestyle things but before i get into that i want to talk about some housekeeping if you're new here i am bridget and on this channel i do skincare videos makeup with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in so if that sounds like your cup of tea please consider subscribing to me i'd love to have you join the family so with all that said let's get into the first one and this is kind of like a lifestyle thing um a lot of you all are familiar with this but i noticed in the grocery store last month that they had a new dr till's pure epsom salt soaking solution but they have one that is the glow and radiance and this smells so delicious it smells like oranges and maybe with a hint of mango in it and i always love putting this in my bath water along with bubbles and it's, it's so funny because i use so much bubble bath to where um like let's say the water is okay we'll put it right here let's say the water is right here i'll make it to where my bubbles are all the way <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, but this isn't bubbles. This is Epsom salt. So anyway, and you know, I saw that it was new, wanted to try it, and I also noticed that it's got vitamin C. You know, hey, they they got me on this. So I'm trying to see if it will actually work. I don't really think a month or two is really long enough to see if I'm if it's gonna give me some glowy or radiant skin. But it definitely smells good in the water, and it definitely feels good. And oh my goodness, if you haven't tried it but like I said this has been around for ages um, if you haven't tried the glow in radiance I would definitely say to check this one out all right so next up I have a waist trainer and this is by what waist and I don't know the formal name I'll have to put it up on the screen but this is the kind that just it, it's so long you know as you can see the belt just kind of goes on and on but I really love this waist trainer what I like um, most about this waist trainer in regards to the kind that kind of zip up and then you you put the belt on and then you has a velcro or whatever this one it seems like you can get it a little bit smoother and it's kind of falling so let me uh, fix that so yeah you can get this one smooth so if you want to cinch your waist in to kind of have your butt going pa -pa -pa -pa. <laughs> pile if you want to, <laughs> your behind to kind of stick out your central waist you can really do that because of the way you can kind of lay it how you want to but this waist this waist trainer by what waist is divine um i have not washed this yet but before you say ooh um, i only wear it um like during the day um, and I'll make sure I put like two or three t-shirts on so I don't get it musty and stinky and dirty. Uh, but, but if you look at it closely, uh, even smell it, it's not even dirty. Cause I haven't even figured out, I know, I'm sure you can't wash it. I just need to figure it out how, but I, I don't wear it on my naked skin. Plus they don't recommend uh, doing that. But I really love these types, the ones that, that are just, I don't know how many feet long. If you waist train, let me know down in the comments. And if you do, uh, let me know what kind of waist trainer you use. And if you really like it, I'd love to hear about that. All right, so next up are my Glamnetic Lashes. And I really like these. Um, I have Lush and Lavish. And they're super, they're super, super, uh, super duper, <laughs> really pretty. They're kind of on the thick side. Uh, well, not really. I'll let you be the judge. Um, and... The eyeliner that comes with it is really nice. It doesn't dry up fast. You know how sometimes you can get these liners that have the glue attached and when you go to use it, it kind of gets messy around the perimeter. It doesn't do that. It actually holds the lash in place because I've worn these out where I can remember one day it was like very windy and my lashes didn't blow off because you know you never really know with the magnetic kind but I really like these again I have lush and lavish really really pretty they are kind of on the pricier side but I've had these forever if you take care of your lashes they can last a really you know really really long time 
Okay, so next up I have a fragrance and this is, uh, name of the perfume is Vanilla Bourbon and I got this from Target. Ooh, this smells so good. <laughs> For I think it's $20. If you like um, vanilla, vanilla type of scents, warm, cozy, snuggly type of make you feel like a snack, because I'm using that analogy because that's what's hot here on the YT right now, you got to try vanilla bourbon. Like, stop what you're doing right now and, and buy you some. You won't regret it. This smells so good. It smells so good. And yeah, I love it. And even outside, even before, like a month ago or two months ago, I was still wearing this. And my daughter also has a fragrance of this as well. Very, very lovely. All right, so next up I have some ampules. And I'm not sure if you all uh, use ampules. I talk about them time to time, but I like them because they're very concentrated. And um, let's see. The product comes in a glass and you just kind of take the glass, break it, and then apply the product on your face. So they come like in a little brown clear glass. And what I like about these is that they're, um, they're peptide C ampules and they have 10% pure vitamin C. And we all know how good vitamin C is for the skin and since it's in an ampule, it's gonna be more concentrated. You can get these from the drugstore. I think they're like $20, $30 or maybe 40. I'm not sure I'd have to put the price tag up there, but I love using ampules. Anytime a, a skincare product comes in an ampule or like one of those um, type of uh, capsules, things like that, where it's individually uh, contained and wrapped, I really like that. But yeah, these are the Vichy Lift Active Specialist Peptide C Anti-Aging Ampules. All right, so next up I wanna talk about a frother and this is a frother that I got on Amazon and it works uh, really well. It also come, it also came with like a little spoon, but this is the actual frother, if I put it like that, and <laughs> you can see it. And it works so, so well. And the froth that comes up, two, I think this takes only two or three AAA batteries, and you have you have like a little case right here to um, where you can uh, store it properly. But yeah, it comes with its own spoon to where you can just kind of lay it down. It's got a little groove right here. And this particular gadget or whatever has lasted me like forever. Of course, I'm very careful. Um, I really like it. So if you like to froth, you know, uh, your drinks or your coffee or whatever, I would say to check this out. It's super cheap. It's not expensive at all and I love it. All right, so next up I have a Omega Water Cream and this is by The Inky List. It has 0.2% ceramide complex, 5% niacinamide, and 3% bedding, which helps reinforce skin's barrier. I really like this if hydration is your issue um, as well as, you know, trying to kind of stock up or have a lot of anti-aging products, I would definitely say to check this one out. And you all know that the Inky List has super, super affordable skincare. And so far, the products that I've tried um, have worked for me. But at bare minimum, they've always done what they've said or claimed that they could do. So yeah, I would definitely say to check this one out. I'm not sure how much this is. I'll put it on the screen uh, once I find it. Next up, I have a pressed powder. And if you've watched my channel, even for a short amount of time, you already know that this is the Fashion Fair powder that I absolutely love. I love it to death. I think it looks gorgeous on the skin. I love the shade. I, I just love everything about this powder. And um, I want you to love it too. Definitely go and pick it up and try it. <laughs> no, let me stop. But anyway, I do like the powder. It is very pretty. It looks really pretty on the skin. And if you've seen any of my Get Ready With Me's where I use it, you actually know what I'm talking about. Um, I even reviewed this as, along with their cream foundation and that look came out really, really pretty. I'll try to link it up above, but Fashion Fair is, ooh, so divine. The next thing on my list is to try their lip colors. I would love to try all of their shades. I would, I would just be in paradise if, if I could try all of the shades. And the last one is a blush, and this is by Rare Beauty. This is a cream blush. You all know I like 
working with cream products. I think they're so easy, they're so fun. I think that this is super pigmented. Um, to me, if you want it to be heavily, heavily pigmented, apply it over your powder and it will it will come out just as you see right here. Plus, look at this packaging. Isn't this the cutest stuff? And it's got a mirror, which is so stinking cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's it, short and sweet. Those are my lifestyle and beauty favorites. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, and if so, how well did they work for you? Or how well did they not work? <laughs> For you let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches